we are Jim and Janelle Malanto on behalf of Dance Vision. And today we're going to be talking about leg swing and uh, body position. This is our third installment of basic ballroom technique. So as you can see, Jim <laughs> has a, a very fancy outfit on today. He likes to use different uh, objects to describe things, which I think, you know, it's, it's a great idea. So he's got some in important information for you today. Yes, this is my newest fashion statement. I'm sure it will catch on like wildfire. But the point of the exercise today, I think it's uh, Janelle uh, pointed out that we're going to do uh, a basic technical factor about leg swing and relative to position to our partners and how can we move to get by one another comfortably without distortion, which is the number one thing. And I will tell you, guys in particular, a pet peeve of the ladies is something we should fix today. <laughs> all right, one of the biggest pet peeves of the lady of all these years of traveling the country and listening to what goes wrong, we now maybe have a little bit of a solution. So here's our prop today. I have my lime green masking tape. And you'll notice my left side is elongated and my right side is short on my front. If I turn around, is it right side is my long and my left side is short? Hmm. Why is what that? Could that be? Hmm. Well, it has to do with the way we stand. So, I'm going to first talk about leg swing, and then I'm going to have Janelle just point out the lady's poise because we cannot say that enough. But how we move, if I'm by myself, I can move any old way I want. I'm not wrecking anybody. I can turn, I can twist, I can do all kinds of crazy things. But I get my girl in front of me, now I'm infringing upon her balance and her space. So when we move in ballroom dancing, we have to be courteous to our partners. So Janelle, how are you poised in ballroom dancing? Okay. Well, I always want to keep my head over my left foot so that it's out of the partner's way. I have my left side up and forward, my right side slightly back, and I'm ready to always allow my partner to swing past me because when his long side with the long tape comes past me, I need to keep this side there. So I've got my right side stretched up, my left side up high, and I'm keeping my poise with my head over my left foot. So it looks like this. And I'm ready to go. Yeah, so I think the most important factor here that she said is that she is poised to the left. There's an old saying in ballroom dancing, left shoulder leading, we could say left side leading all the time. When turning left, don't. And we can add turn to that. So left side leading all the time, turning left, don't turn. Or, better said, don't twist. twist. So Janelle has her poise to the left. Go ahead and back to the camera so we can see. And I'm going to frame that poise. We stand offset from one another with a slight left shoulder lead at all times. I make my connection and I step in line with partner. Now, I step with my left leg outside my partner's feet in a standard position. When I step with my right leg, I'm stepping between her feet in a standard position. And of course, she's doing just the natural opposite of that. My right side is covered by my partner. So I cannot provide force through that area of my body because she's there. Nor can I twist that area of my body because she's there. And now we get to the best, her pet peeves, being pushed or twisted off the leg she's standing on. So the tape that we've used is gonna help us with this. So I'm sure you can see with the lime green masking tape that there is, that is a clear space. There is nothing in front of that space. So I can move strongly there. I can move strongly there. But Janelle's in front of my right space. So this blank area represents where she's standing. So when I move forward with my left side and my girl's in front of me, I can move, I can swing my leg all the way from the top of my, or the base of my rib cage or the bottom of my pectoral muscle, and I can make a nice, strong, aggressive swing. No problems. 
When I swing with my right leg, however, I'm gonna only swing it from the joint, from the hip. And I'm gonna allow that to swing forward, so I'm not gonna put any pressure in my body. So one of the main differences between the way he has the tape, long on his left in the front, and long on the right in the back, has to do with whether you're moving forward or whether you're moving back. So when he's moving forward, he's moving along left side, and a short right side, and when he moves back, he takes a long right side. And I do, as a lady, the same, same situation, even though I'm not wearing any tape. So he's coming forward left side. Now I'm coming forward my left side. So he's taking a long left side forward, I take a long left side forward. And that's done without any twist in the body. So we, yeah. You can see, my, so just, Stepping back for one moment, the basic things we've done on previous videos, and you'll continue to see it, is that leg, we talk about leg tracking. And that is, as my leg moves, it swings under my body till it becomes a heel, and swings under my body till it becomes a toe. You can see it from the side. Under my body becoming heel, under my body becoming toe. I am doing this in a manner in which my tape bits are parallel to one another. So I'm not twisting the tape to move things. I'm not twisting it. Everything's looking long and symmetrical with a left side in advance of the right and a left side stronger than that of the right when going forward. The natural opposite of that, of that would be true when going backwards. My right side is long and my left side swings short because if I did it just the opposite, I would twist. Right, and so I would say all of that applies to the lady as well. And I know you're talking about the lady's pet peeve, but I think men really appreciate when the girl doesn't twist in his arm because it's actually quite painful to his shoulder. So I go back with my right side long, and then I would, if I were to go back with my, my left leg, I'd take a short leg rather than me turning rather than me going and turning, which makes it really painful for the man's arm. I keep my shape with my right side back and my left side forward no matter what he does. So we're gonna do, we'll, we'll just show the quarter turning box because we wanna swing long left, short right. When I hit the ball of the right foot, my feet will swivel and I realign myself to that quarter turn. When I step backwards, I'm gonna step back with a long right side, and I'm gonna swing my leg, so I'm not gonna pull my shoulder line away. We refer to this in the written technique as body turning less. I swing the leg to a pointing alignment, and then I can stand on the foot and close. So forward, long left, right leg swing short, long back and right, left swing points, and it's only the leg and foot. So when we put that together, I'm doing that forward as Janelle's doing what I express backwards and then vice versa. So we can swing forward to close, back to close. Long left forward, short right forward. Long right back, short left back. Long left forward, short right forward. Long right back, short left back. And we stay in harmony together in the quarter turning box. So that every step everyone should be familiar with, you can practice that thinking of the long leg swinging all the way from the top and the right leg swinging from here and then vice versa going back, long on the right and short on the left and that's in the quarter turning box. That's right. That works for all kinds of steps. So the bonus step we're gonna use today is sort of a complex figure even though it's basic and this is the waltz weave. Uh, did you want to demonstrate the ladies part first and then we'll okay. show the guys? Sure. So on the waltz weave, this is in the bronze program, the lady is going back with her right side. So she's going back and that, since I'm going backwards, that means my right side is the long side. So I've gone back, I'm going short step back on my left, and I step to the side, and then I'm coming forward with the long side, leg and side, and then close. So basically I have back, back on a toe and turn, quarter of a turn, forward, side, and close. Great, so that's the lady's side. I'm gonna do it from the gentleman's side now, just facing uh, away from the camera. 
I'm gonna do it on a slight diagonal so that I can get outside partner with my left leg. So I dance along the left side making the heel, and then going outside my partner's feet, I swing forward onto the ball a short leg, and I turn holding my legs in the CBMT position. I step back on my right foot, long right side, point the left foot to the side, short-legged, and close my feet. So it goes heel, toe, 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 heel. I do heel, toe, toe, swiveling, toe, heel. Back, toe, heel, toe, toe, heel. And when we put that together, I think it's, it'll, it'll, if you use the long side, short side methodology, it will be very easy to fit in with your partner. So you'll see where my legs are now. I'm going outside my partner's feet with my left. That's sort of normal, but I'm also going to go outside with my right foot, and then we turn. And then we turn it up to the right, a quarter of a turn to the right, so now Janelle can go outside my feet with her left. She's moving her whole left side. I'm moving my whole right side. And then she swings a small step to go between my feet, and that's what closes us up on the end. So we'll do that a little faster now. We do one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'll do it facing the camera too so you can see Janelle's back. But here's what's critical as you see me from, again, I use lime green so you can see it. You can see my entire left side swinging past her. One, two, three, and one, two, three. So that's left side again. I, wanna, I really wanna drive home that point that my left side is forward of my right. My right front is very passive. Janelle's right side is open to give me space. And I walk forward with strength through there. And then I can swing just my leg between as opposed to pushing her with the right side of my body. And that is an uncomfortable situation. So let's do that. We'll, we'll, we'll put that in a little combination for you. We're going to do a quarter turning box, two bars, followed by the waltz weave, and then repeat. So we do quarter turning box for two bars, the waltz weave, and then we repeat quarter turning box, two bars, waltz weave, back to closed position. And if you work on the symmetry of your leg swing, the asymmetry of your body positions to one another, I think you're gonna find that comfortable. How about with some music? this technical factor to help you do them better. We use the zigzag, and we're also gonna do this in promenade with a natural pivot, which I think everybody wants to learn at some point, and the long and short sides will help you do that. Janelle, do you wanna do the zigzag first? Yeah, so I'm gonna do the zigzag. I'll do the zigzag as ladies. So with this same idea, the same theory, right side going back is long. So I'm zigzagging, so I'm going back long, short, side close and now I'm coming forward forward with the short side and then I'm going to come bring my entire left side forward forward and swing to the side so I'm not really if I did two in a row though it would be better if I show you that so I've got back back point and close forward forward I swing and turn the feet to close back back and side close. So I'm turning a quarter and turn to the left and the right on each of those. So as a gentleman, as I walk forward on the diagonal, I'm swinging strongly forward with the left side, walk. I've got a short right leg, and then I've got a very long left side to swing and close my feet. Then I have a short with the left side to keep my left sides forward, because if I took it too strong, I'd pull my left side away and that wouldn't be positive. Then I'm gonna swing my whole right side back, swinging only my leg to the pointing alignment and closing. So that gives you the, the feel. I'm gonna do it facing the camera one time so you can see that. You'll see long, short, 
long, short, and then going back, short, long, short, long. And that balances. And if we do this together, now we'll stay in that poise to her left, left shoulder leading, always into this space. And I'm just gonna count out my leg lengths. I have long, short, long, and closing with a short step. We have a short, a long, a short, and a closing step. And then we can do that in reverse. So you can see it from the other side. Janelle has a long side, a short side, a long and a close, and a short, a long, a short, and a long. And you can see the green tape unobstructed and untwisted. untwisted. That's the zigzag. I think everybody knows that step, so we're not going to dwell on it. Many times we're asked about the promenade, and there's a lot of distortion in promenade typically, and the natural pivot. pivot. Natural pivot. So this is an important step. So I'm going to just briefly express what goes on there from the man side. And we're going to do basically a minimum, a minimal amount of turn. And people say, oh, I want to go down the floor doing tons of pivots. Well, you got to walk before you can run. So we're all going to start this way. Everyone who ever danced it started this way. I don't care how many pivots you see them do. So we're going to do it exactly this way. So when we go to promenade position for the gentleman, I'm standing on the right foot. I'm turning my body to the right towards my partner, looking to the left. I'm going to step with a long left side in promenade position. Right Now, this is intuitively, obviously by this point, that my right leg is a short leg to step across myself, so my left side is still leading. Now I'm going to step a long left side to the ball of my foot, and that's the point I pivot on. That axis, you can see that axis. That's the point I'm rotating from. Then I'm gonna step forward, short leg between my partner's feet, and I'm gonna rotate to the right on that, ending in promenade, and then I'm gonna step long, short, long, and short. So let me just do that again. So I'm in the promenade position. I turn my body to the right. I have long left side, short right side. I dance across the front of my partner. Long left side, I rotate on that foot. I walk between her feet, short, and then I step to the side and promenade, across, side, and close. And by seeing the leg in the tape, that's all forward, by the way, even though it appears that I'm rotating backwards on the pivot, I'm not, it's still forward. That will make it obvious to see. Janelle, did you want to say something about that? Right. So as lady, when I go to promenade, sometimes it doesn't seem very obvious on the lady side as so much as it is on the man's. But I'm going to the side, that's my, my short side. Well, you would, this is the long side. So it's, it's not the short side. I would be stuck behind him and I don't want to be stuck behind him. I want to move across so that he can, so that we can stay together. So my entire left long side goes through and side close if it's a normal promenade. But when we're gonna pivot, I do walk with the right, I go through on the long side. That helps me change my head so that when he does a pivot, I, he can get around me. I step short, the right side, right between his feet, it's very small, only from the hip down. And then I have long on the left so that I can get there. And then we just finish up the regular basic promenade and I have long on the left and side close. Janelle makes an excellent point, but because she is stepping forward in promenade, and it would seem that that would reverse suddenly, that she would have to be long on her right side. But that, that puts her in an awkward position. So she steps, small steps, staying back into the arm, but then the side that's nearest, that side has to advance, it has to advance. Otherwise it's hanging, and now it's a twist. And we got problems there. So it's not intuitive, but the lime green tape helps you see. So if we put this together, we're gonna go, I'm gonna just call out my part first. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Now that sounds obvious, because I'm not doing long, long, because that would be jump, jump. So I'm gonna do long, short. So I'm just giving you the rhythm now. We have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 
slow, away, quick. Now, if you were paying attention, you would notice that when Janelle described her part, her spin, if you will, the turn was on her left side. The long side. On the long side. My spin was also on my long side. So I spun on my left side. Janelle went past me spinning on her left side. So we each spin on our left side on the long side. So the axis of the rotation is the left side in a long vertical position. It's not tipped in any way. We complete that rotation as much as we can physically by going forward into that foot past your partner. And then the rotation, we help one another get by. So now that I've told you the secrets, we're gonna do that again. I will long, short, I rotate, she rotates. We stay vertical over that step and we can walk out comfortably into the promenade pivot. So how we're gonna do the combination today is we're gonna do two sets of zigzag, turning to promenade on the second one. Again, we're trying to do this in the smallest space possible. We'll do the promenade pivot ending with the closed promenade. Uh, we're gonna do a quarter turn, which is, this is a great exercise because I go long left forward, long right back, and then short. So it, again, I'm not gonna twist anything as I do it. So quarter turn, we do long left forward, long right back, side, close. Short right, uh, short left, long right. And Janelle is going short right, long left coming forward. I'm going long when I go back with my right side, long when I go forward, and then I'm swinging short leg forward. I'm bringing my feet together. So if we say long twice, it's because I went forward with my left and back with my right. So that was my long left going forward, my long right going back. All done in order to facilitate the position of my body, left side leading all the time, lady in front of my right side. So that makes it so that she can stand there untwisted or unpushed by my own body. And the girls, you'll be thanking me for that. Yes. The guys are gonna shut down that right side and they'll be very comfortable to dance with. So let's put that all together. of our individual position provides a symmetrical position to the dance couple. Now when I'm solo, I can do anything I want. I can turn, I can twist. But when I get my girl in front of me, I want my left side dominant and her left side is dominant so that I'm clear to swing with that left side. She's clear to swing with the right. But when I move forward towards my partner, I'm only swinging from the hip so as not to impose my body weight at her and knock her off balance. So we do that. And it, this, is, this is applicable to promenade, long, short, right? We're both stepping forward there. And it's also applicable, ironically, to shadow position. So if you all do a lot of more advanced dancing, in shadow position, I've got a long left side here. And that's well, it's quite a nice picture, isn't it? The leg swing there. So practice this, you know, tape yourself up. It's fun to do. Uh, you know, I enjoy that. And, and I like my props, but also thinking about from where you swing the leg. Long left, short right. And I think you'll find that it's quite easy to fit comfortably with your partner and you'll not knock them off balance, twist them, or impor, impose a lot of force. It's very comfortable, whether you're dancing socially or competitively. So from Phoenix, Arizona, 104 degrees, Jim and Janelle Moranto for Dance Vision and Wayne Ng, thank you very much.